when are you going to FaceTime me? When are we ever going to FaceTime? So I'm going to have to take investigation into my own hands. Started going through his Facebook like nightly routine. I went through his Facebook and his friend uploaded a picture. And my heart is dropping as I'm scrolling. Are you fetishizing me? My mom is not gonna be happy I'm doing this in her bathroom. Do I want this lighting or this lighting? I would have some more lighting in here, but I just don't. Good morning! Good morning! The, the way you called me as soon as I literally turned my camera on is crazy. Welcome back to my channel today. I am. First off, I know my mom's gonna see this, and I know she's gonna be like, why are you filming in my bathroom? You have your own bathroom. I'm filming in your bathroom because the lighting in your bathroom is better, and when I turn on the light, there's no vent attached. I don't understand who who created a house that make the light switch attached to the vent, so then when I turn on the light, the vent, come on. Come on, come on, we don't do this stuff. Welcome back to my channel today. I am back with another video. I know I look crazy right now, but in today's video, I will be <laughs> fixing that because, you know, bitch be looking crazy. I'm installing the wig today. I'm going to install a wig and talk about my daily life because I just feel like it's just necessary. I want to tell y'all. Let me show y'all what wig I'm installing today. This is not sponsored either. So I customized this wig because y'all should have seen the wig that they sent me. <sighs> I'll put up a clip of it right here. This is the wig, what it looked like before, and I'm going to just be installing it because I have a photo shoot to do today, which I've mentioned it in uh, the couple past videos. So. I will be installing today and then telling y'all about my dating experiences about the time that I was catfished because I know that y'all I told y'all the times that I was catfishing people but I never told y'all about the time that I was catfished and then this is probably also going to go on a tangent about like dating as a plus size person because I know a lot of people always ask me stuff it's harder to film and do things at the same time y'all so let's hope that I don't jinx myself the holidays is coming in I want to spam you guys you know I know y'all home I know y'all bored etc etc literally dating when you fat is traumatic and funny as fuck at the same time like it's just ridiculous like everybody always asks me like oh do you date a lot and everything and i don't know why everybody assumes that i just be out here dating because it's not that easy like dating is literally hard as fuck when you fat and i'm not just saying when you fat because you know i don't want to just keep making it seem like we always in struggles and shit but no like the way we are half the time because these men are so weird and i've never dated a girl as a plus size person before but honestly i have heard that it is so much better i don't know why but i literally every plus size person that i know not every but like a good majority of them who are have been dating and stuff and who date is in a relationship with a girl and is in a happy relationship with a girl at that so <laughs> that's nice i just haven't you know met my fair share i just normalize being bitter at couples that's it like i just be bitter i just be bitter i feel like we should normalize waking up and being haters in the morning because sometimes i just be i just be on tiktok and i just be scrolling and then all you see is a happy relationship and it's just like i wish that was me like it's just like people always think that we are victims like we never had love before Ugh. i'm gonna just show y'all the products i'm using because i know somebody gonna ask even though this is not a tutorial i'm using this i'm gonna actually just get into the story time when i'm done blow drying because the story time i realized is actually so long because i was on live for an hour and a half telling um my story time as i was talking about it i was just like literally bro i'm gonna tell the story time on my youtube and they're like we're gonna watch both <laughs> Okay, I'm back. So let's get into the story because I just feel like the story has no intro. It literally just randomly just happened. And I didn't know what to do with myself. So yeah, I'm going to just get into the story now. All of this happened when I was in... 10th grade i'm gonna say it was 10th grade definitely was it 10th or 11th did covid hit in 11th grade because i don't think it was co was it covid time i think it was 11th grade so this all happened in 11th grade let me tell you about how i met this person what are we gonna call him because he's so corny we're gonna name him orange how i met orange the catfish etc let me just tell y'all so one day i was on snap which i don't use snap no more because snap has all my hometown people on it because i never made friends in connecticut i already told y'all the whole friendship thing i think i made a video getting into depth about not having friends but i'm not sure i just didn't have friends from connecticut because i was just not interested in making friends in connecticut so i just didn't make no friends in connecticut so i only had people from my hometown on snap so you know when i was posting on snap at the time because i don't use it anymore you know i would post my regular stuff like post myself looking cute or whatever looking cute 
that's really an overstatement you know at the time i thought i was the baddest bitch i was posting myself on snap and this guy orange kept swiping up i'm pretty sure it's not out the norm for you to have hella different people who you don't even know on your snap like right now go check your snap list i bet you you're gonna see like 10 bitches you don't even know the name of i never really got like the whole swiping up oh you look bad as fuck type of thing outside of the guys i was talking to so whenever that did happen it was definitely out of the norm you know i wasn't used to that but i mean it wasn't that i wasn't used to it also keep in mind i was in a relationship <laughs> A lot of this story, <laughs> I be forgetting I'm in a relationship. I'm going to just get into that later. So, yes, Orange swipes up on my story, and he's like, you look so good. Like, he keep dropping hard eyes. And I'm just thinking it's one of those random, because I'm telling you, like, sometimes it don't be the whole compliment thing. Like, if guys think you're attractive, they're not going to let you know. Like, they definitely will sit in your face and act like they don't want to tell you that you look good. He was just swiping up and was just, like, kind of applying pressure a little bit, dropping hard eyes. He would also, like, you know, use his words. It wasn't just, like, hard eyes. It was definitely like, oh, you look good, etc., etc., shit like that. So I was just like, okay, whatever. Like this guy, obviously, is just showing a little bit of signs that he kind of, kind of flirt with me, or whatever. So I was just like, okay, whatever. I don't really know who he is. I just seen he was random, a random guy. So I just assumed like he was from my hometown. But then eventually, like he started doing a lot. Like he would just like. Oh, like you look good as fuck. Like, let me get your number, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I was just doing my little cocky, flirtatious thing because you really have to humble these men. Just start humbling these men. I was just be like, oh, thank you. You know what I mean? And then it became like questions and stuff. He'll be like, oh, what you doing today? Stuff shit. And I'll be like, don't worry about it. So I wasn't really giving him the time of day because in the story, let's like, like, let's just keep this in mind. I had a boyfriend, right? Now I didn't have a loyal boyfriend. I did not have a trustworthy boyfriend. My boyfriend, I just found out my boyfriend cheated. I mean. And mind you, me and my ex never really did that whole, well, I could because personally I feel as though I can respond to girls and not ever text our, our guy and never text him again. But he had trouble doing that, which is how I found out he cheated on me in the first place. So I was pissed about that. So I wasn't really like, usually I never really got uh, guys flirting with me anyway. So it wasn't really a big problem. But this time in particular, I genuinely didn't care. So he was like, oh, let me get your number. And I don't give my number to people. He was texting me before I found out my ex was cheating on me. I just didn't know yet. So I wasn't giving this guy the time of day. Then I found out that my boyfriend was cheating on me. So, you know, that's the time where you contact every nigga. Not every nigga, but you just, well, in my toxic phase. Because I had a toxic phase, y'all. I don't go through that shit no more. I used to, like, be very toxic. And now y'all hearing me fart. I used to be very toxic in my own way. And that shit is not cute. But that was me back then. I was just ignoring him because I was just like, I have a boyfriend. But then once I found out that my boyfriend was over here, instead of giving the same energy as me to these bitches and was telling other that they look good as fuck and how they gonna link and da -da 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 and how he wanna get in them drawers. I was just like, okay, we're gonna play that game too. So I definitely was like, oh, like, you know, don't ever talk to me again. I wasn't cheating. I don't care because we was on a break. Even though he said we wasn't on a break, but I said we was on a break because bitch, you cheat on me. So you don't get options in this equation. Like if I'm saying we taking a break, we taking a break. I started texting Orange after I found out. When we was texting, he was just like, oh, I still didn't get that number yet. This is the glue I'm using. It's called Lace Be Gone if you want to find her Instagram. I'm more of like a flirty person, which I know exactly when I'm flirting with someone. I'm not one of those bitches about to be like, oh, I just talk regular and I'm not flirting with you. No, I'm either flirting with you or I'm not. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's the truth. If I'm ever sitting here telling you, oh, I wasn't flirting with you. I was just talking to you. Then I meant that shit. It wasn't even me trying to be like, oh, that's just the way I talk. No, if I'm not flirting with you, bro, you're going to know I'm not flirting with you. And if you try to lie and say I'm flirting with you, then you're lying to yourself. I was doing that whole, like, flirty thing. Like, you know, you're not going to take me out on a date first. Because he was like, he was making, like, a little bit of jokes. Red flag, number one. Orange was just making a whole lot of jokes. Not sexual jokes, but it was just like, when you come to New York next time, like, I need to see you. What's your number so we could talk? hug etc etc like dang you invited me to the crib you're not even gonna take me on a date first type shit and he was like now nah, we can do that too so eventually i ended up giving him my number i don't remember how the conversation went but i just remember me giving him my number one day and we took it from snapchat dm to imessage so i gave him my number eventually which is why i don't think that i was on tiktok at this time because i don't really give my number to anybody i promise you i don't i remember he had texted me on snapchat again and i was just like why you asking my number if you not gonna use it like i was being flirtatious and i'm I'm just like nigga you have the number Use it. so he's like oh i just didn't want to be a fiend and just start blowing up your line so i didn't want you to think i was being weird or nothing i just wanted to give it time for i just started texting right away but i was just like oh, okay like you know at this point i'm thinking like i barely talked to this man but he's giving like you know a little bit of big 
energy the fact that he considered like my feelings or whatever and was just like oh i'm not gonna blow up her phone so he ended up texting me that night and i don't know why he was preaching what he don't practice because y'all he starts texting me and then he starts texting me so much on my number which is fine because that's what he have it for it was just a lot like i'm talking like double texting double texting double texting and i was just like okay maybe he really just wants to take me out to dinner hey yo so I didn't really mind it. We was texting and he we was just talking normal. And then he just starts giving so many red flags, y'all. Like, I'm talking red flag. We would be texting, right? And, like, I'm expecting soon, like, you know, like a FaceTime call because you asked for my number and everything. But, like, we, I was like, oh, he probably wants to just get to know me first type shit and everything. So I'm like, okay, like, you know, he's going to try to get to know me first before he just starts the whole FaceTime call coming pulling up on me and stuff so i was like okay so i let it rock i was trying to just go with the flow i was just trying to be a go with the flow type of bitch it was just when he started lying and it was just like you're doing too much to impress me it was actually starting to piss me off he had asked what's your favorite food to place to eat and i was just like oh you know like what do you mean like fast food oh why i just trip i was like fast food or like you know like regular going out to eat places because <laughs> it's two different answers i was just like oh wendy's is like my favorite fast food place like you know we was like dissing on burger king which if you eat burger king and it's you questionable i'm not gonna lie i mean my school do got burger king and i have bust down a couple chicken fries and a burger in the past but shit <laughs> we talk about me and this man starts doing the most like i was like oh what's your favorite fast food place to eat and he's like my favorite fast food is real chris and i don't know why that made me so mad when i seen it like i promise you like i don't even remember what my face looked like but i know it was something like <laughs> like shut the fuck up that just made me so mad for some reason because just like y'all always just gotta go above and beyond like all i wanted to know was what was your favorite fast food place and you talking about roof chris first off that's not fast food i was like that's not fast food and he was like yeah you never been to roof chris like and i was like no i have not been in the roof chris he got weirder and weirder and weirder so he works overnight right mind you we're like a week and a half into this conversation like a week and a half into this conversation when i'm starting to notice like the icks about him that i just don't like we're talking and he starts bringing up the fact that i don't have any pictures on my instagram so he was like oh you don't have any body pictures no i had pictures on my instagram not many he never told me he had me on facebook but he kept saying it actually i never gave him my instagram and i never gave him my facebook or nothing i only ever had him on snap to my knowledge right so when he was like oh you don't have no body pictures or nothing he starts bringing that up and it's just like oh i see you don't have no body pictures is it because like you're fat or whatever or not like is it because you're fat because he didn't like say is it because you're fat but he was more so like is it because you're like not confident in your body and i don't know why but that just made me mad because just like if i wasn't which i wasn't but if i wasn't it's just like that's not the way that you bring it up or you approach it to me and i never said anything i just laughed it off but i was just like bro like what the fuck like that was so weird to him in my opinion i was like that's the weirdest thing that you could have said to me that is none of your business i told you i was fat he basically was just like, oh, yeah, like, I see you don't post any body pictures. You know, I'm going to teach you how to love yourself. And I don't know why that made me mad because I was just like, I don't need you to teach me how to love myself. You teaching me how to love myself is not beneficial to really me when you say it like that. I just ignored that statement because it was really did rub me the wrong way. So we were still texting. And I'm like, why haven't this man FaceTimed me yet? Like, I need to see him. He had posted himself on Snap like once, like once or twice. It was definitely like a once or twice type of time. So I was just like, oh, like... I wonder what he looks like for real because when I had seen it, he looked okay. It wasn't no whole like, you know, shebang bang spam. He didn't look bad. And I remember it being a boomerang. So then it got to the point where I'm just like, all right, I really don't know what this man looked like. Like at this point, we only texting through um iMessage now. It's no more Snapchat. And I feel like most guys, like, I don't know, I hate this, but most guys do it. I, it's kind of like a blessing, but, like, not really. Where they, like, once they get your number, they just start FaceTiming you like they fucking stupid. I was just like, it's coming to the point where I'm not seeing your face. And I really need to see this face before I give you any more time of the day. So, one day, we're talking and he's about to go into work. Which he worked overnight. When he worked overnight, we don't really talk and I be sleeping anyway. So, it's like, whatever. He claimed he was a manager at, like, a FedEx or something, right? Mind you, if you're a manager at a FedEx, you have to be over 18. But when I asked him how old he was, which at the time, I think I was like 16. So when I asked him how old he was, he told me he was 17. So when he had said he was a manager, he's like, you know, he kept bragging about it. And I mean, I mean, if you in high school, and you're a manager at FedEx, kudos to you because that's kind of a little bit of good money. You know what I mean? He was just like, oh, I'm about to go into work, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, I slipped it in. I said, FaceTime me when you get off because he used to get off at like 
7 a.m. type shit, like 7, 6 a.m. So when I had said this, we were still talking. He was on his way to work. He told me he was in an Uber on his way to work. What killed me was because he just told me that like three minutes ago, what he had said where he was and then where his job was, I was like, there's a, like a 30 minute to get there. So when we were talking, I was like, hey, make sure you FaceTime me when you get off of work. That's what I said, right? Why does man go ghost? Like he just did not text back for hella long. So I took my ass to bed and you know, when you in like a little old talking stage, you know, you kind of just stretch your schedule for a little bit of pizza. So that's kind of what I did. I was just like, oh, like, you know, call me whenever you get off. I left my phone on do not disturb and everything so that he could call me when he get off and then we could have a good conversation when, he, when I wake up. He just never responded back to that message. So I was just like, dang, okay. So I just took myself to bed. At this time, I wasn't even noticing that this was a whole red flag because I was just so stuck in the fact that like, oh, he probably is on his way to work. I was not that crazy. I'm thinking he gonna be on some, you already know the vibes. Like finally, I could talk to you. I could text you type shit. I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm not gonna like this wig on me. <laughs> I'm gonna just come back when the wig is applied. All I'm doing is just gluing sides down and I'm gonna come back when it's fully on. Cause I really do feel like I now look like the founding fathers for real, for real. And the FaceTime switch was just not coming. And I was kind of getting irritated because I'm like, damn, like, when are you going to FaceTime me? When are we ever going to FaceTime? I just gave up and I just was not looking for a FaceTime no more. And, like, we were just still texting every single day. That was it. It's like, dang, I even gave this man a green light to just call my phone whenever he feel like it. And he still didn't do it. He still didn't catch the hint. I was like, no, there has to be something of this man hiding. So I had asked him his full name. And, like, when we was getting to know each other and stuff, I had said, like, how old are you? He told me he was 17. He told me he went to the same school that my best friend and everybody went to but um when i was telling like shade like his name and stuff trying to get like more deets tales on like what he looked like and if i'm being catfished or like you know anything of that sort like she said she didn't know who i was talking about so i was like dang so he had told me he hung out with his friend and like who his friends was and stuff asked shade about that she still didn't know who it was so i'm like okay if shade don't know who it is she don't know who it is so i'm gonna have to take investigation into my own hand so you know bitch like me i'm a tech star you know i used to do this catfish shit so i was really like i'm gonna have to find him myself so i went on facebook and I looked up his real name and him, nothing popped up. Because most people on Facebook have like their real name somewhere in their fucking Facebook page. So they'd be popping up if they friends of people who you know. So nothing popped up. So I'm like, okay, let me look up his street name that he claimed that he had. But he gave himself a street name based off of a fucking 21 Savage song. So I went and looked up that name and then he pops up. This man had a fucking bitmoji as a profile picture. And I literally was looking at the picture in disbelief because I'm like, you are 17, you are 17 years old and you got a Bitmoji picture as your Facebook profile. Like something just is not adding up. I was just looking down his page and stuff. I'm scrolling and my heart is dropping as I'm scrolling. Mind you, this man keeps texting me about like my weight and stuff. But at this point, it's like, nah, nigga, I told you I love myself. Fuck you talking about. I'm scrolling down his Facebook, y'all. Why is this man sharing post? Yes, post about fat bitches and loving fat bitches so much and wanting to fuck a fat bitch. I seen the statuses, I seen the sharing post and my heart was dropping because I'm like, ew, like, are you fetishizing me? He just kept posting about how he needs a fat bitch in his life and how he's one of fat bitch. And then he made a post and was like, I finally secured me one. And that they had the best coochie and how they had the best this and they had the best. I was looking at the statuses in disbelief. Like my mind, I couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was like, no, cut the cameras, dead ass. So I'm reading it and I'm trying to, I'm trying not to, I'm really trying not to panic because I'm like, bro, like, but it's no way this man literally is dead ass serious. And he's dead ass serious sharing these posts. So I didn't bring to his attention. I just kept scrolling, but I was trying to find pictures. He never posted no pictures before of his face. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Then like, I'm texting him a little bit slowly and slowly now. And he's just like becoming all attachy. You being attachy for everything but FaceTiming me. Shit just got toxic. Like, you know, shit started getting domestic. I was minding my business and he was texting me before he went to work so we're texting and he's like right, i'm about to clock into work i'll talk to you later i said okay i'll talk to you later so a bitch like me i like to sleep i put my phone on do not disturb and i go to sleep but i also wake up in the middle of the night sometimes or like at like 6 a.m 5 a.m 7 a.m and like look at my phone screen for some reason like even if i'm not gonna open the phone i might honestly go on tiktok watch two tiktoks and then fall right the fuck back to sleep i don't know why but i do this but like it's like i be fighting my sleep as a grown-ass person like i wake up and i look at my phone and i might open it or something 
So I had woke up and then I had looked at my phone screen and I seen that he texted me. This was at like 7 a.m., right? Around the time that he's off of work. I see he texted me, so I'm like, okay, he texted me, whatever. I'm gonna talk to him when I wake up for real. Like, can a bitch actually rise? Her? Like, can she brush her teeth before she respond to you? At this point, it's giving domestic. Like, it's giving, you know, manipulation. I didn't open it. I just read it through my screen. So when I did that, I looked at it and it opened his message, but it didn't open it. It still don't tell you that I read the message. So I just was like, you know, whatever. I definitely was just like, okay, I'll respond to him when I wake up in the morning. It was literally like a fucking good morning text. It was nothing even serious. It's not like the man told me he was dying. He was in the hospital. He needed me to be there, which I mean, I still would never win because I don't even know who you are. At this point, we maybe a month into talking. I had put my phone down and I went back to sleep. And when I woke up in the morning, this is at like 12 o'clock. Like I was up already, but I didn't feel like responding to him yet. Like I wanted to get myself together and then I'll respond to you when I wake up. Like you're not my man. Like I said, I have a boyfriend. A cheating one, but I have a boyfriend. A not loyal one, but I have a boyfriend. Get off my body. So I texted him back and then he was not responding to me. He will like read it, leave it on red. And mind you, he has his red receipts on. So I thought he was doing, being funny and not realizing that he had me on red receipts or, and like kept leaving me on red and didn't think I knew. But I only texted him like twice. I had texted him like, good morning. I honestly, I don't even think I double texted him. I just remember I was just like, good morning back. And he had left me on red and I was like, um, okay. A couple hours went by, which I'm not petty, but he texts me back after leaving me on red for like a couple hours. It was good, like a good, like bro like five six hours and i remember i was just like mm, i don't know why he was my red fuck that man he was like don't play with me bro and i'm like don't play with you like what are you talking about mind you he had asked me he said oh i do have any like relationships going on or anything of that sort and i had said no which i was lying because that's none of your business i don't even know you yet so like i definitely was just like nah i don't but i was definitely lying i just don't think that i have to explain myself to you and he was just like oh, okay so when he had said don't play with me i thought it was gonna be that moment where he find out boom bitch you have a boyfriend which i don't know how because nobody knew i had a boyfriend except my private story so i thought that's what he was gonna do like be like oh don't play with me like like, you know, you have wasted da, 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 da. you waste my time. Shit, that's the only thing I'm playing with him about. On top of that, when I started seeing the Facebook statuses, I really tried to turn a blind eye. I was like, bitch, that self-respect went out the door. I was like, you know what, fuck it. Maybe this man could potentially be my husband. Like, what if this man is like the love for me? Like, what if he just is my type? What if he just loves fat women and that's a good thing because a bitch is fat? That's what I was doing. So I just turned the blind eye and this was not looking at you. You know what I mean? He was like, don't play with me, bro. And then I didn't respond because he was playing with me. He wanted to take so long to respond to me. So I was like, okay, it's my turn. I'm not even petty like that when it comes to like messages. But that time I was. But he just starts going mad hard. He's like, and you're doing it again, bro. Or like, you see my fucking messages. Like, blah, 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 blah. don't fucking play with me. Like, you're wasting my time. I'm not one of these regular ass niggas. You don't play with me. Blah, 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 blah. I get my own fucking money. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, first of all, I don't even know what you're going on, 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 on and about because I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry that I accidentally made you think I gave a fuck, but I don't. So when he was saying that, I literally just started laughing because I don't know what he think I was gonna say to that, but he's like dragging it. Like he's in my inbox just screaming, like just screaming with capital letters and everything about not being one of these average niggas. I can't play with him because da da da. And I'm just like, okay. I was just like, what are you talking about? And he's like, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm like, I don't. I like to call men out on being bitches, so I did it. I was like, or you could stop being a little bitch and tell me what's wrong with you, because uh, I'm not your mom. I'm not about to be figuring out what is wrong with you. You're a grown ass man, so stop being a little bitch and let me know what's wrong with you, right? So he's like, oh, so now you call me a bitch? I'm a regular, I'm a, I'm more bigger than all niggas you with. I'm more bigger than that. I'm like, if you say so, I don't care about that. What I'm telling you is to stop being so ignorant and let a whole know what is your problem is. Like, what are you so mad about? So he's like, you've been leaving me on red and you've not responded to me when I'm talking to you. And that shit is mad weird, bro. Cause you're wasting my time, blah, blah, blah. Don't, I said, first of all, I didn't see, he's like, you see my message this morning and you never responded to me. And now you text me like four hours later, like this shit regular. I stayed up. I stayed up to talk to you, bro. I stayed up to talk to you. I'm like, you never even called my phone. So like, why are you doing all of that? It's not like you call my phone like I direct you to do because I didn't give you information this time. But if you really want to get technical, bro, I just feel like I don't owe you nothing. I don't have to answer your message when I don't want to answer your message. So he's already being domestic. Like, he's already being controlling as fuck. Like, that shit was really already blowing me. So I was like, yeah, you're, it's kind of clip for you at this point because you're doing a lot. So I was like, first of all, I had to put him in his place because let's be real, I was sleeping. It's not even like I intentionally ignored his message. What you want me to do? I was asleep. Like, I was like, first of all, I was sleeping. So calm the fuck 
up down i have the right to sleep you know this is america i can sleep if i want to just like every other country i can sleep if i want to you're acting like you're dying like you act like you got just got hit by a car bro i was literally like are you serious like i thought he was joking at first about why he was yelling but he wasn't and he's like so you were asleep you're lying i was like i don't care if you believe me because i never asked you to believe me you could think i'm lying for a month eternity i don't give a fuck he, i had like left him on red at that point because he had irritated me and i just once you make me mad i'm gonna just leave you on red because i just feel like that's what you deserve to be left on red right um when i left him on red he was like i'm sorry he started apologizing that's the manipulation right there you start apologizing good you do owe me an apology but he's like i'm sorry bro you gonna forgive me bro oh i'm sorry etc etc it's like bro we're not having relationship problems when we're not in a relationship and right now that's exactly what you're screaming like we don't ever have to talk again i don't care i'm still investigating like every night i'm going on his facebook just in disbelief about the shit that he's sharing which is why i kind of really definitely was upset about the fact that he tried to like come at me like i was playing him because i feel like he was more so playing me so after the argument went behind us you know i forgave him and i just moved on it was literally routine i would go scroll on his facebook every night i was also going to his friend's facebook to try to see if like they have any pictures together because you know they was always talking about being together and i'm just like mind you his friend is mad fine so i'm like damn i done chose the wrong friend his friend was mad cute so i was like okay like whenever his friend posts a picture of them i'm gonna just be there i'm gonna be ready foreshadow his friend posted a lot of facebook but orange only posted like statuses but his friend posted like pictures i'm preparing myself to see this man but like none of his friends is posting pictures of him of them or whatever so i'm like damn okay like whenever you ready so one night in particular right my ex-boyfriend had asked me to do him a favor he needs to use my car for something and i was just like okay when he was done using my car he was just like i'm sorry he had reached out to me a couple times like trying to apologize and stuff but i just wasn't really accepting his apology when i was in the car with him he was just like you know i'm sorry like you know what i mean like uh, i didn't mean to do it blah 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 and i was just like okay whatever stop talking to me like you're a dub and mind you he was texting me when i was with my ex but I just didn't care. I just didn't care that my ex was seeing it because at the end of the day, you're not one to tell me how to handle how you made me feel. Like, I can handle it however I want to. And I was telling him that and he was just like, all right, bro, but I just feel like it's disrespectful for you to be texting another man in my face. I was just like, oh, I don't care because you was doing it. So it's my turn. I dropped him back, I was texting him, and he was just like, oh, you know, like, what you doing tonight? I'm like, nothing, chilling the whole time I was just with my ex. So, he was just like, okay, I'm about to go to work, I'll talk to you later, you know, very routine. I was like, okay. Started going through his Facebook, like, nightly routine. I went through his Facebook, and his friend uploaded a picture. Now, this is where the story time gets juicy, so I'm gonna start cutting the lace on my shit now. This is what it looked like before I cut the lace. When his friend had posted a picture, I was like, oh, you know, new picture, whatever. The person, I could tell that there's someone sitting next to him, but since Facebook only give you that little ass bubble, I'm like, like, oh, you gotta click the picture. And I'm like, all right, like, uh, this person will upload the picture and, you know, whatever, right, right, right. When I click the picture, I see somebody standing next to him. And I'm like, oh my God, that is a jump scare because he's so ugly. Like, I was just like, oh my God, this man is so ugly. Like, whoever the fuck is sitting next to him is ugly as fuck right bitch i'm like ooh, like why is such a cute which i'm not one to judge no more so don't but you know my ignorance was a bliss when i was younger but i was just like what is his fine ass doing hanging out with such a sore sight like this man whoever he's sitting next to is so ugly like so i'm looking and i'm like dang this person whoever he's hanging out with is mad ugly i was just like dang his friends is really ugly like oh my gosh y'all i don't know why my brain just was not like i was literally in denial like i was in denial so mind you the person in the picture had like acid wash jeans on and we all know especially if you're from like Atlanta or something that that is a red flag them acid wash jeans y'all need to lay them hoes to rest okay who is this monster sitting next to this man and then I looked at the tag and y'all I'm like no and my heart drops bitch because I was like no fucking way all you see is the boy who I'm talking to orange tagged in the picture as the person who's sitting next to him and bitch I was like, no fucking way. Like, I was appalled by the sight of what I was seeing because, bitch, I thought this was a joke. I thought this shit was a game because the man in this picture, it ain't no way this is him. And he comments, Orange comments on the picture. And Orange is literally like, love you, broski. I was appalled. I was like, oh my God, this man, he looked untrimmed. His beard was looking disgusting. His teeth was yellow as
And I know there's gonna be people in the comments saying shit like, cause I think when I told the story time, it was a couple people in the live talking about, oh, like I know you're not talking type shit. But it's like, nah, bro. The, when you give this type of energy, you better make sure that you really that nigga for real, because you're not. Like you're not. And I've never seen you a day in my life before, so that's how I knew he wasn't like a big known person. He had also said to me like, oh, I've seen you around before in Mount Vernon, and I was like, you be watching me. He was like, fake. So that's why when I seen what he was posting on Facebook, it kind of scared me a little bit because I'm like, this man has a fetish. When he had texted me like, good night that night, I realized this will be the last time me and you have ever talked. When he did that, I had called my ex and I'm like, bro, come to my house right now. So he, he came to my house and I go outside and I'm showing him the picture of this guy and I'm telling him what happened because I just, I don't know why. That was like my bestie, like, you know, and even though like we was going through a lot of shit, that was like my bestie, like my boy bestie. And he was just like, that's what you get for trying to replace me, blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh, like he was so ugly, y'all. He was so ugly. Like, I don't think I understand. I started blowing up Sade's phone before I texted my ex, before y'all be like, you just wanted next year to talk to him. Not too, but like, I was like, let me call Sade. I called Sade, she's not answering. I think she was with her boosting or whatever. So I'm like, oh my God, like, I cannot believe this is what's going on with me right now. Like, I cannot Believe this shit. I text Shadi, text Shadi, text Shadi, text Shadi. He's not answering. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I call my ex. I'm telling him what happened. I show him who the fuck is in my phone. It gave bum. It gave don't have shit tease. It gave no morals, no nothing for you to show up looking like that. This will be the first picture I sent to Shadi of him. This is the next picture. Next picture. Second picture. Mind you, I'm not a person who could really just cut someone off where I just don't talk to you again. I have to block your number. My ex took my phone and he had texted me and was like, she got a boyfriend, bro. Stop texting her or it's clear for you or some shit like that. Or she got a boyfriend, bro. Keep texting her, it's going to be a problem. He sent him a picture of us and then blocked him. And I was honestly down for it because, I, you know, at the time I was down for the ghetto tees. Yeah, that's the story about what happened. I literally went on Snapchat and I see he was watching my story because I was posting that night. He was watching my story when he got home from work. And then I realized that he was watching my story. So now I was like, now you're blocked because, girl, like, don't watch my story after the shit that you told. Bitch, you're not, you're not safe. It's not safe for you around these streets. I was still checking his Facebook because a bitch like me just never could let it go. Like, I was just so shocked. Up to this point, we still ain't FaceTime, y'all. So that's why I really cut it off. It's one thing. If I never seen his face and then I seen that picture of him and I I probably could have put my pride to the side and been like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, um, it's probably just the angle. I've had my friends post questionable pictures of me, which is why I was kind of confused on why he even wanted to talk to me when he seen what I look like when my when my friends post me because uh bitch, my friends be posting me. And I'll be looking a fucking mess. But yeah, like I was saying, this just goes to show how much audacity men have on a daily basis. And the fact that us plus size women really have it out here bad. So, like, stop letting these men think. And we have it out here bad because everybody has this assumption that we pull no niggas. Like, y'all just be wasting our time. If you know you are, you would not approach a skinny girl like this, do not approach me. And when I sent to Shade and she finally replied, Shade was like, no. I'm like, yes. Like, yes. And she was laughing. She was like, I see him all the time in school, bro. And he's uh, ugly. Like, she was like, he's butt ugly. Like, the audacity of you to look like that and be like, trying to teach me self-love. And you knew you were ugly because you never wanted to FaceTime me. It's not even like, you FaceTime me and the first time I answered I was just like wow like you know what I mean and I was just shocked by your looks I was also on his Facebook and he was just sharing shit about how fat ain't shit neither and stuff like that and I was just like well I'm glad you got your experiment on also he lied about his age like when I was on his Facebook he told me he was 17 and in his Facebook bio I seen that he has said big 19 it's like, you're 19, I'm 16, I don't even care about that shit, to be honest, but like, no. Like, it's one thing if you let me make the choice myself, but don't make the choice for me. And yeah, I just never, I never talked to that man, I never seen that man, never seen that man a day in my life. That's why they told me, she was like, girl, he be wearing the same ass outfit all the time, and I was like, really? That's enough, and you talking about, you just that nigga, and that I need to respond to you when you text me, and you wearing the same outfit to school? I am too, but like, damn, like, no. I look good outside of school. It's not like you just a sweatpants type of person in school. You wear shit like this on a daily basis. You play with people's emotions on a daily basis. This is my hair, y'all. It kind of look a little ugly, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm gonna go customize the rest of this wig. If you made it to the end, like I said, comment down below how old he was in that long run. He was 19. I wanna see them comments coming in. I want y'all to be more interactive with my videos. I want y'all to comment, I feel like, a lot of y'all come back, but y'all just probably be scared to comment. Like, comment down below, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!